Look, Crete. Look. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Shelby and McKinley, and I've got Crete on here today, and we've got a super fun video. We have been really paying attention to what's going on in our country with the coronavirus, and we just kind of want to be doing our prepping around the homestead and be ready in case a situation were to happen and we really need to stay home. <laughs> Crete is loving the camera. He's doing awesome. <laughs> But in case we need to stay home, we want to make sure that we're ready to go and have things in place to where um, our family would be okay in that kind of a situation. <laughs> Do you want a baba? Say goodbye. <laughs> All right, Creed is with Dad, so we are going to continue on. I belong to a, a Shit Hits the Fan um, thing on Facebook, so I've been watching a lot of threads in there about what other people are doing to prep and prepare and I've also asked my own questions in there and one of them was just natural remedies for being able to cure yourself at home um, with stuff that you may have on hand or that you should get on hand and one of my favorite things that I got out of that comment thread was somebody told me about Papa Garrett's cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> He's not my papa. I wish he was. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. So we figured out his recipe for cough syrup and that's what we are going to make today. So will you help me? Uh-huh. I've got these peppermint candies, but I need them crushed up. Do you think you could help me with that? Uh -huh. That'd probably include some banging and breaking and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. We'll get to it. So I'm going to tell you guys our ingredients real quick peppermint candies that we need to get crushed up. We've got honey and this is local raw honey. Um, our bees, we haven't been able to get honey from them yet so I found a local place and for making this recipe at your home you're going to want to do local raw honey just because it helps give you all of the pollens and stuff that's in your area in your honey. And you need some wild turkey 101 bourbon whiskey. <laughs> you need a lemon you also need a small mason jar or whatever size you want to do, but um, I'll tell you kind of how to do the ingredients off of a smaller mason jar. So we are going to open up these bags of candy and put them into this big Ziploc bag to do the breaking. We got them pretty crushed, so we're going to pour them in the cup. Can you pull all these? <laughs> so we did it, and we didn't even make a mess. <laughs> so next we are going to add a tablespoon of our honey. So we are gonna take a pretty good size scoop of this honey. That's good? Yep. Nope, just kind of scrape it, there you go. That way you can go in and get probably a little bit more. Maybe not. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit more just cause we love honey and you can never do too much honey. Scrape it along the side so you don't make a mess. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> so next we are going to add a lemon. So we'll slice them all up and we'll add two and squeeze them in here. Come on, give me a knife.
All right, final ingredient is the bourbon. So I'm going to pour bourbon in until it's very filled up to the top. All right, you guys, that is how you make Papa Garrett's cough syrup. I couldn't be more excited about this recipe. I found out this along with other really great, cool tips. But I would love to hear what your family does. I love that tradition of passing these kinds of things along from generation to generation. Um, that's the kind of stuff I love feeding and having prepared for my family. So I would love to hear whatever it is that you guys know about. And who knows, I may even just make a video out of it. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Hope you guys have a great day and everybody stay safe and healthy out there.